I've been waiting. I don't know why I waited so long, but I did. But after so many requests, it's time to get into Persona 5. Finally. Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Did you know that I go live every Tuesday and Friday? We do live music reactions. Every song we listen to is controlled by the chat. It's a fun time. Would love to see you there. We're going to listen to Persona 5, The Last Surprise, but first we have to talk about something. And now it's time to hear from today's video sponsor, gothic.com. That is G-T-H-I-C.com. I'm going to be 100% real with you right now. I ordered some rings from Gothic over a month ago. I like the product so much. I've had these on every single day. Don't plan on taking them off. Seriously, though, my boxer rings was so cool. Check these out. So there's a theory that I have that I need to share with you. Why would I order once when I could order twice? So I'm going back to the website to see what else I can get. I almost forgot to mention they're having a New Year's sale with up to 60% off. All right, I just got into the webpage and I can already see the 2023 sales going on. Buy X, get Y free, such as buy two, get one free. Buy three, get two. Buy five, get four free. Okay, well, let's take a look at some rings. On my last order, I got this one right here. It's my favorite, so I'd like to get a variation of it this time. But there's so much to look at. So let's do some window shopping here. Scroll down. Look at this turquoise one. This is really nice. This dragon spine stainless steel. Okay. I like that one as well. All right. Let's scroll down a little bit so we get to some more. Wow. Okay. Look at this irregular texture titanium. Yeah. This one is really nice. These pyramids are cool, but look at the pine forest titanium wood ring. Okay. This one is also amazing. There's quite a bit of variety here and you can order more than just rings. You can get earrings, stud earrings, chokers, scarves, chains, and even sad and happy stud earrings. Those are pretty cool. Okay, well, I think I know what I want to order, so I'll be back in a little bit. A few moments later. I wanted to do something a little bit different than last time, so the first thing I did was order myself a chain. I'm excited for this one. And of course, I did order some more rings. I grabbed some that were similar to my first order because that's just my style, but I was super happy to find one with a huge sailing ship on it. Go hook yourself up. The link is in the video description below. Don't forget to use coupon code TONY20 to take 20% off. All right, on to the video. Yeah, that messed me up a little bit. I, I was so bought into the uh, tone of the bass and that bum bum, that tritone there. It sounds so good that the uh, I felt like we hit like a mixed meter because of that the uh, digga 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 that four note rhythm. I was bought in extra hard. It's in four. They just hit us with some funkiness. I'm going back. And the back side of that on the blue scale coming down. Ah, it's so good, man. We'll keep going. Here. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. So when I play bass, this is what I like to play, man. We're back in the, we're a pocket plane. We're sitting back. Drummer is totally in the pocket. Pocket just means where you're in the groove as a backbeat and we're not doing a lot. We're just staying strictly in it. And it's, it's just that a pocket groove. Um, the keys though, are just very, very mellow. And I don't know if you just heard or not, but the strings come back in with a digga 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 digga. Uh, rhythm and uh, tonal center again. So this is nice. Going back 10 seconds. Gotta love this stuff. Bass, man. And as you look to the horizon, not a cloud, by the stormy weather's go to cold. Seems like it breaks up out of nowhere. All the rest, you is not what, what to photo. You never see mm. it come back. Oh my god dude what is this game about dude what is this someone tell me in the comments <laughs> are we going to the disco hall or what they got, they got full ensemble hit to bring this into the uh the next section here i love it okay i'm going back 10 i need to get this i just want to say how clever it is how we stick that rhythm in our face in the beginning we emphasize it lightly and dynamic in the strings and now clearly we use it right here to bring us into the next section i just think i love that kind of design like it out of i went back 10 by the way
Cool. Wow, wow. I didn't think we'd camp out in the oohs and the ahs after the, the harmonies on the uh, vocal part right there on that uh the, the chorus, the drop there. Uh, this is cool. Obviously, the biggest part for me is the descending bass line and the, the funkiness of the uh, chord progression there. But going to the ride symbol, man, giving us that. And everything is just so mellow. Let's go back five. Let's keep going. Pick it, catch your game. But, but uh, I didn't catch those harmonies earlier with the little uh, call and response vocal stuff there. So for me so far, we're only a minute and a half in and now I keep stopping. That, that's just my style. The reason this works so well is because you have a very simple, a very simple chord progression. It's funky as hell. The keyboard is being very careful while they're laying things out. They're not busy. You just allow your ears to saturate. We're a sponge. We're just soaking all that funkiness up. Dr drums, they don't sound like real drums, but it really doesn't matter, right? It's, it still sounds amazing, but the bass line is just so good. The vocalist sounds great, too, and obviously any, any of you that hang out on the channel, you know my ear always goes towards the rhythm section. Got to give them props, but it's just the simplicity of the funk line that makes this so danceable. It's so, like, I don't know. It tastes good. It's like McDonald's fries, man. Salt. Let's go. It's a drop. Mama step. And do that. Why just to be because they can go with the sky for now life. Did you hear all those? Bum, 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 bum. I, I can't I can't sing harmonies. It's not going to happen. I'm not a harmony person, but there's a lot of layers going on. We'll go back 15 to catch that again because the majority of the lines in the vocal uh, section, there was like little distasty support layers in there. Are you sitting way down below? That's gorgeous. For all the bass players watching this video, you know what you know what happens as far when you're on stage playing. This is where you're like staring at the drummer, and you're just like, "Yeah, man, we're just sitting there. You're just having a good time. You're both is like looking at each other. The connections on stage are good because this is fun. This is so much fun. I think the biggest takeaway though is like listening to the tone of the bass in the in between sections versus this. You can hear how much harder we're digging in, and the way the dynamic uh, just fits fits overall tone. I know I, I focus on bass so much, but you just this song is so freaking bass heavy. This is beautiful. Let's keep going. <laughs> Drum away. Are you sure your next move the right one for you? Are you sure you won't get out my new? My bad for not bringing the hand drums. I kept I kept saying myself, talk about the hand drums. Sorry, the hand drums are there. So now we've taken away our our electronic kit snare drum here, and we just basically same groove, uh, light keys, but now we're adding our little like uh, hand drum stuff, which is really really nice touch. We'll go back five. The right one for you. Ba -da -da, da -da, hitting the strings. I think that was probably there every time. I just didn't notice. There's, just, there's no way I'm going to pick out everything on the first listen. So it took me like maybe this is like the third time we're hearing the, the chorus here. I don't know if they were. I'm not going to say that they are. But we at least hear them now. I'm going to go back 10 seconds and just put my ear down in the uh, the lower string harmonies there. Do you Okay, okay. 
Okay, what a great tune. That is a dance band tune. Uh, basically, dance band stuff. When, you, when you're playing in a band, you know, you, if you're playing in a top 40 group, you're playing, what, whatever it's going to be. You, there's some stuff you know. Now, granted, you know, like Persona 5 is not a top 40 song because you don't, people don't walk around like, oh, yeah, did you hear that on the radio? It's not happening. But the point is, that's a dance band groove because you play that if you're in a venue where people are ready to dance, they're going to get on the floor. As long as the band is good and the rhythm sections happen, if they're not, then there's problems. But let's assume in most positive, positive situations they are. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been sleeping on this one. So, obviously, I'm late. I'm very late. But I'm very excited now to get into Persona. So, let me know in the comments what you want to hear next. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me live so we can talk about Persona 5 or whatever game music you like. You can find a link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the Discord server. If you'd like to support me, my Patreon information is down there. All right, thank you so much for watching. Click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next video. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.